the 4-8 Chargers, well, they're simply just trying to beat a team with a winning record, and this is their last opportunity to do so this season. The 7-5 Steelers, they're playing to keep their playoff hopes alive. The Chargers have never won a regular season game in Pittsburgh. They are 0-14, and it doesn't look much better for them this week. Their offensive line is in absolute shambles. This should really be the injury report show because uh, right tackle Jeremy Clary, he's out with a knee injury. Uh, left guard Tyrone Green, he is listed as doubtful, but it is going to miss with a hamstring uh, injury. And left tackle Mike Harris, who was originally the backup left tackle behind Jared Gaither, he is listed as questionable, but is also going to uh, miss with an ankle injury. Uh, that means you've got, starting at right tackle, Jeremy Cl uh, Reggie Wells. He signed on Wednesday, spanned 11 days with the team earlier in the season. He's an 11-year vet, but hasn't played this season, and admitted that he is likely going to be winded at the end of the game, because he's not in football shape uh, at uh, left guard is going to be your utility backup left guard, Rex Hodnott. And at left tackle is going to be Kevin Haslam, who was signed off the practice squad a few weeks ago. And the first time he ever entered a huddle with Phillip Rivers was last Sunday when he went into the game because of the injuries to all the other players. Uh, this means that the Steelers' defense, which is ranked number one in the NFL, only allowing 259.8 yards per game, they're likely going to be trying to come after Phillip Rivers all day long. Now, fortunately, they don't have a ton of sacks. They only have 25 sacks, but look out for outside linebacker James Harrison because he started off slow with a knee injury but has come on strong of late with a sack in each of the last three games. Uh, the Chargers have other injury issues, and we'll get to that at the injury report. <laughs> In addition to Jeremy Clary, Tyrone Green, and Mike Harris, the Chargers will also be without inside linebacker Donald Butler, who has a groin injury, and wide receiver Ed Royal has a hamstring injury. Both players also missed last week. The Chargers haven't completed games of late. They haven't been able to beat good teams. They haven't beaten a winning team all season. I don't see that changing this week. I see the Steelers winning in a big time way, 34 to 13. For all your latest Chargers information, please visit CBS Sports every single day. You can follow me on Twitter at CBS Chargers and San Diego Sports. You can also hear me on the radio Sundays on Extra Sports 1360, the home of the Chargers, on Sports Squawk Sunday with Doug and Dan from 9 to 10 a.m. <laughs>